I've got bombshell news for you on the claims of chemical weapons in Syria, which is being used to justify the call for war against Syria by the White House. Of course, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger with naturalnews.com. And this is bombshell news, all right, because everything you've heard about this in the mainstream media is a complete hoax. And I'm going to prove it to you right here and show you the actual evidence right, right in front of your eyes so you can see it for yourself. Now, I haven't even commented on this war topic at all until this. But when I saw this, I was so just astonished at the complete idiocy, the total hypocrisy, the lying, and the fabrication of evidence of chemical weapons that I had to go on the record and put this out there. So here you go. You have probably heard that the UK government approved export licenses for chemical weapons to be exported to Syria, right? You've heard that news? If you haven't, let me show you some headlines. The Independent revealed UK government let British company export nerve gas chemicals to Syria. France24.com, UK approved nerve gas chemical exports to Syria. Daily Record revealed Britain sold nerve gas chemicals to Syria 10 months after civil unrest. The Guardian, Chemical export licenses for Syria, just another UK deal with a dictator. And it goes on and on and on. You can find thousands of mainstream media reports about these chemical weapons that were sold by a UK company to Syria. Now here's the bombshell. Get ready. <laughs> uh, guess what these chemical weapons were? Well, according to The Independent, these chemical weapons were the following chemicals. And if they sound familiar, you'll know why in a second. Number one, sodium fluoride. Yep. And number two, potassium fluoride. That's right. Sodium fluoride and potassium fluoride are named in these articles and are now being openly called chemical weapons by the international community. Now, if those names sound familiar, it's probably because, number one, they are dripped into your water supply in all across the country, and they're called water fluoridation chemicals. Yes, if you are drinking water, tap water, in a city like Austin, Texas, or any of the other cities everywhere around the world, including Australia, where they currently poison the people with sodium fluoride, it is now true that the international media, the international community, now openly calls sodium fluoride a chemical weapon. All right? So let's just get that straight for starters. Secondly, I mean, no, no one can dispute that. I just showed you the headlines, and in the articles, they call them chemical weapons, sodium fluoride and potassium fluoride. Secondly, if you go out to Walgreens in the United States, you can buy this water called nursery water. You see it? Nursery water. Guess what's in it? Sodium fluoride. It's right there on the label. Sodium fluoride is in, it's added to nursery water for toddlers and babies. Because, why? Because, well, according to John Kerry, it's a chemical weapon. You see, Colgate, here's another product. I picked these up at Walgreens today. Active ingredient, um, check out the active ingredient for yourself there, sodium fluoride. The same chemical that's called a chemical weapon by the entire mainstream media and John Kerry. Now let's get to John Kerry for a second because John Kerry says, oh, we have irrefutable evidence, secret evidence, mind you, that you can't see because it's, it's a national security interest. Uh, super secret evidence uh, that that proves that Assad was using chemical weapons, right? So what is this super secret ev evidence that you can't see and you can't test and no independent scientific body can ever test or ever see this this evidence of weapons of mass destruction, which, which actually makes Bush sound kind of honest <laughs> in comparison to what we're hearing now? What is this? hair samples. John Kerry went on TV this last Sunday and, and talked about how they've got hair samples that show, um, what did he call them, precursors or properties of, of sarin gas. They have, they have elements of sarin gas in the hair samples. Well, guess what, folks? Guess what? If you drink fluoridated water, you will have fluorine atoms in your hair. And this, just to prove that this is true, let me show you this screenshot of a study from science.naturalnews.com, the effects of fluoride on cell migration, cell proliferation, so on and so forth. This study talks about how you can measure 
the, uh, the, the level of sodium fluoride in hair samples. Now, a lot of these measurements are done by an instrument called ICPMS, Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry. It's one of the systems that's used throughout the, the, the industry, you know, forensic food labs, food contamination labs, universities. The FDA uses the same system. That machine, because it uses a plasma torch, which destroys complex molecules as part of taking the sample, that machine cannot distinguish between sarin gas fluorine elements and sodium fluoride fluorine elements. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? The fluorine element from the table of elements is going to look the same to that instrument regardless of whether a person has been exposed to sarin gas or has drank sodium fluoride in their municipal water supply like people are doing in Austin, Texas. If you drink tap water, you're drinking a chemical weapon now according to the international mainstream media, just, just to let you know. So, these tests that John Kerry says are evidence that chemical weapons have been used in Syria, this test would be positive for virtually every American. If you take hair samples of people off the street of Austin, Texas, and you put them through the same ICPMS, you are going to find the same evidence of chemical weapons because the fluoride is going to accumulate in their hair tissues as fluorine atoms that are shown in the ICPMS test once they go through the plasma torch. Are you following me? In other words, according to John Kerry, the United States of America States, cities, municipalities are also engaged in attacking their own citizens with chemical weapons. You following me? If sodium fluoride is a chemical weapon, then no country is more guilty of using that weapon on its people than the United States. Because it, it subjects probably over a hundred million people in the country every day to that exact chemical weapon that John Kerry calls a chemical weapon, that the independent calls a chemical weapon, that the mainstream media calls a chemical weapon. So, according to John Kerry's own logic, all right, this is according to him, not me, the United States government should be bombed, again, according to John Kerry, should be bombed in order to stop the regime from poisoning its own people with a chemical weapon. You follow me? I'm not saying that. That's John Kerry saying that. He's saying any government that uses sodium fluoride on its people is engaged in chemical weapons attacks on its people and should therefore be bombed or overthrown or whatever they want to do. Insane, right? Totally insane, but that's the truth of what is going on out there. They needed a reason, folks. They needed a reason. They needed some evidence. Just like George Bush joking around about, oh, where are the weapons of mass destruction? Are they under here? We can't find them. Well, Obama needs evidence now, too. So what are they doing? Fabricating it by getting hair samples of people who drank sodium fluoride, running it through the, the test machines, the ICPMS, and getting high readings of fluorine atoms and saying, oh, that's proof that sarin gas was used on these people. Folks, it is all a complete hoax. It's all fabricated. You are being manipulated. The mainstream media is being manipulated. But we, the people, have already won if you just wake up and realize what was just said. They said, they admitted, sodium fluoride is a chemical weapon. They admitted that. So now the city of Austin, Texas, and every other city that fluoridates its water, their board members, the, the city council people, should be arrested as war criminals, according to John Kerry. You following me? It's, they've already admitted it now. Sodium fluoride is a chemical weapon, period. No wonder it kills bugs so easily. No wonder it's sold as an insecticide. No wonder so many people who drink tap water end up with cancer and other diseases and broken bones. No wonder it's a chemical weapon. The United States now admits it. <laughs> so, so bizarre, folks. So bizarre. I wouldn't believe this if I hadn't seen it for myself. So, again, the evidence is in the media they are now calling sodium fluoride a chemical weapon. That's what was exported to Syria. Yeah, fluoride. It's in the nursery water. Your baby is supposed to drink that same, quote, chemical weapon. It's in the Colgate. It's in the toothpaste, the fluoride toothpaste. You are being bombarded with chemical weapons anytime you are subjected to fluoride, according to the international mainstream media. It's not me saying that. That's them saying that, and John Kerry agrees, and that's why he wants to bomb Syria. You got it? You got it? Because you have to be kind of retarded to believe any of that stuff.
So, but, you know, who knows? Whoever's watching MSNBC or CNN, probably, you know, they're, they're retarded because they, they, they grew up on this. They are victims of chemical weapons. And so they believe the, the inane, insane justifications for war that are being put out there by the establishment. The evidence is completely fabricated. The justification is unethical, immoral, completely without merit. But that's what we've come to expect now from our government. So there you go. There you go. Get this video to your congressman, congressperson, man or woman. Get it to your senator. Let them see this. How about we look at the real evidence, not some fabricated BS that the White House came up with to justify whatever it wants to do and, and bypass Congress in the first place. We need to see the evidence. We need to have this scientifically tested. And we, the United States, need to stop poisoning our own citizens in the United States of America by dumping this chemical weapon known as sodium fluoride into the water supply. There you go. Share this video, spread the word. We need to stop this war. We need to stop the chemical weapons attack on the American people right here at home. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Check out more of my news and announcements at naturalnews.com. Take care.